Um, right, so we have a lower bound. Our upper bound and our frequency. Um, 3, 12, 15, 26, 22, 14, and 8. 0, 100, 150, 200, 250, 300, 400, 600. Like this. So this is just our data. So if I want to calculate the mean, what do I need here? The midpoint, I'll just call it x. So that would be 0 plus 100 divided by 2, which is error, 50, and so on. Okay, and our formula. Well, you know what it is now. Um, it is <sighs> this times this plus this one times this one plus this one times this one plus this one times this one plus this one times this plus this one times this plus this one times this divided by our total frequency um, <coughs> which is probably going to be something like a hundred, I don't know. So 250. Okay, if I want the standard deviation, I need another column here. What do I need? The yeah. So it will be this one squared. Okay, so I need the average squared, which would be this number squared, which would be this number, which would be this number squared. I also need to know what the um, average of the squares is. So again, it's the same deal. This uh, this times this plus this one times this one 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 all over total frequency. I get this. And so finally, standard deviation is square root. Uh, this bigger number minus this smaller number. Okay. Part 3, they want the cumulative frequency curve, which means I need the cumulative frequency, so that's 3, and then it would be 3, it would be 3 plus 12, and then 3 plus 12 plus 15, and so on. So yeah, so there was 100 people here. Okay, so again, what goes on the x-axis? Upper bound and the y axis, CF. Yeah. So I'll plot this, and it's a curve of polygon, polygon chart. So this is a B6 as well. And what do I have on the x axis? Number of miles. Cumulative frequency, finish there. And no surprises again, the last part is the median, 100 people, who's in the middle? The 50th person, which would. Yeah. 
children thirty, something like this. About two thirty for the median here. Yeah. Is that okay? Do you want me to keep the graph there? Or will I go to the next question? Yeah, okay, I'll go to the next one, so.